Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo. From stones to metals and more, Linda Kekik does it all. See how she makes jewelry and creates community. All right, Linda, it's time to learn about you and your art. Take it away. Okay, um, I teach uh, glass art and um, in, in jewelry at the Kalamazoo Art Institute. I've been doing that for about four years. And um, I started out as a fused glass artist about 10 years ago. I was working for the state of Michigan as a social worker and administrator and retired from my job and decided to look for classes at the Kalamazoo Art Institute and thought I was going to take a photography class and ended up taking a glass art class and got hooked and then I was making little pieces for jewelry and decided I wanted to figure out how to set them with bezel setting and so I started working in metalworking and then four years ago I was asked to teach metalworking there so I've been having a lot of fun with that. Why fused art? Fused glass, um, I think it's because it's fired in the kiln. You can create layers and give it a lot of depth. I think it's just really beautiful. I've also done some lamp working and some bead working, and I've also done some minimal glass blowing, which I'm very impressed with local glass blowers. But I always come back to the fused glass because that's what I like to do, and it's, it's just such a beautiful art form. And there's so much you can do, from a little tiny pendant to a big sculpture and bowls. All right, artist Linda, what are we in store for? What are you going to teach me? Um, we're going to make a holiday ornament, a Christmas tree, um, similar to this Christmas tree. And it's fused glass, mm -hmm. and your piece is going to be fired in the kiln. It'll be in the kiln for 12 hours. Oh. So you'll be able to, um, I'll have to uh, fire it, take a photo of it. Send it yeah. to you. Send it to me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But until then, where do we start? Um, what I want you to do first is okay. just learn how to cut glass, which oh. will just take a minute. Okay. When you cut glass, you press down hard Ooh. and do one score like that. Did you get it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you take the running pliers oh. and snap it. Oh. And that's how quickly Shoot, you I can do cut. this. Left-handed. Yeah. Here we go. Find my my special place muscles. here. Oh, let's dig in. Okay, and then oh, did I get it? Mm -hmm. And then I do this, and then squeeze it. Squeeze it, and it cuts. Oh, so you hey, that looks cut, like cut Indiana. Cut <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. What's next? What makes your art really unique? I do a lot with the glass to um, shape it and define it. I I like detail work. So my pieces are very specific. I don't think anybody else makes the pyramids that I make um, in the same way. I've done a lot of traveling and I'm always collecting stones and found objects and shells and um, beach glass. So quite often I will combine my glass with other stones. I've also um, picked up some 2000 year old Roman glass in Israel. I've combined it with, um, with the more recent fused glass, and I do a lot of the bezel setting of my pieces, and I do chasing, and I do soldering, and you know, a lot of different methods to make the piece so it's look interesting. What you want to first do is um, choose one of the shapes. I'm going to go with this one. Okay. Yeah. Pull it closer to you. Okay. There and you are. have some glue here. Oh, that's glue. And we're oh, just going to put a little bit of glue there. Okay. And on the top of my Christmas tree, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And then put some fiber paper right there. Fiber paper, right here is my fiber paper and I'm putting it horizontally. Right. Why is that? That's so that you can put a ribbon oh, in the top of it and hang so it on it can hang. your tree. So it's yeah. a functional tree. Yes. Next up? Next up is to choose a top. Of, oh, I like this one. Yep. Yes. And then just right. put a little bit of glue on the okay. back of it. Lots Whoops, of glue. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Take I'll a little glue, glue and put there. it kind of all over it. Just a tiny bit. We'd call it dot, dot, not dot, a lot. Just dot, a dot, little bit of oh, glue. There's a language with yeah. your art. And we put that on top right. yep. of this. Yep. And that way your piece. Oh, very nice. good. I'm proud and of Then myself. you need to choose a tree base. Okay, how about this one? Well, that's actually oh, another top. Okay. Here's so a tree, tree base. Yeah. Okay. So this is the, just the base of the tree. Yes. And then you can choose a present. 
Okay, oh, a present. Which is one of these shiny oh, pieces I, oh. here. How about this one? <laughs> Talk more about the purpose of the kiln. The kiln is, um, well, you, you use sheet glass, which I have over here, mm -hmm. and you make the piece, and then you fire it in the kiln, and um, depending on the temperature and the program that you use to fire the piece, um, you get different impacts. So um, the tree that you made today, I'll fire that to 1350 degrees, and it will maintain the shape of the piece and the look of the piece. Now, the, um, a lot of the jewelry that I make, I'll fire it to uh, 1500 degrees mm -hmm. and that will change the shape of the piece taking a square piece making it round glass wants to be a quarter inch thick so it will shrink up to that size so when you use the kiln you have to know what you're doing what type of a program um, how to program the kiln so that you can fire it oh this is fun the... this is um, dichroic glass stringer and you're going to see there's a shiny side right there you're going to um, break it okay and put a little bit just of just one. Well, I do. I usually do three okay. for a tree. So just break it here. Uh huh. Got it. Yep. And then just put the glue on. More glue. Dot dot my glue there. Actually, if you dip do it more. in, if you dip, dip that this? in, and then just put a little bit of glue on both ends of this. Yep. Wow, this brings me back to my childhood days. I know. Isn't okay, it fun? Okay. Boom. And boom. Yep, and then make sure the, the shiny there. side is up right there. Will that glue be okay? It'll be fine. Okay, good. And then you can do a couple more if you want All right. to. Yeah. All right, so we're set. I've made a Christmas tree. Yes. With the materials of? It's fused glass. Fused glass. Fused glass. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you very much, Linda. You're welcome.